In 2002, John Silvan and his college roommate invented a machine that would end up in households and businesses all over the globe. One of his greatest and biggest ideas he's ever had turned out to be one of his biggest regrets. That machine is the Keurig coffee machine. Well, it turns out that those little great convenient K-Pods that are great for a single cup of coffee are actually really difficult to recycle. So we usually just end up throwing them in our trash and they end up in landfills. If we took every single K-Pod that has ever ended up in a landfill and we put it in a straight line, that line could circle the earth 12 times. 12 times. That is a lot of garbage in the environment. Now, I'm not asking you to take your Keurig machine and out to your driveway and, and go smash it with a baseball bat. Not asking you to do that. But I am inviting you to take those K-Pods and turn them into something good. We want to add to the beauty of God's creation. So we have started a K-Pod recycling project. Beginning with the Keurig machine in the youth room at church, we are inviting you at your homes, if you have one of these machines, to take your K-Pods and turn them into starter planters. You can grow flowers uh, to just add to the beauty of your backyard or your front yard. You can grow vegetables in a garden, uh, something that you will be able to enjoy with your family for dinners, for meals together. Right here we have some of ours that we're growing for our backyard. We've got some peppers and tomatoes. But we are inviting you in this time where we maybe have a little more time on our hands um, to take the time and add to God's beautiful and good creation. So we will be sending out an instructional video later this week in our weekly update, giving you more information on how you can participate. But we invite you to join us for the K-Pod Recycling Project as a part of Westminster's Care of Creation initiative. We hope you will join us.